Barbara, would anyone really get rid of textbooks? Yeah, our good friend Matt Miller would. All right, let's talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey there, cool teachers. Hey everybody, Matt Miller, who's the author of Ditch That Textbook. It's a blog. Uh, go to ditchthattextbook.com. He tells us about a middle school in New Fairfield, Connecticut that ditched the textbook view of education, right? And found creative ways to reach their students and to, to meet their needs. And he said this, and it inspired us. This is the kind of school where I'd like to teach. That says that a lot. That says a lot. Because we don't always have a choice in education, although I think we maybe do, uh, of where we teach. So he tells us that schools are doing eight things that could be adopted by your school today. And you could give up those dusty old nasty textbooks in uh, your classroom. Um, so we're going to split this up. We're going to talk here in the Cool Teacher Show about four of those ideas. And then in the extracurricular, we're going to give you the four best ones. So just stick around yeah, and, and watch after those. after school. Are you excited about this? I'm very excited. And this Excellent. sounds like a cool school in New Fairfield, okay. Connecticut. So one of the first things they do is the BYOD. Now, you may be familiar uh, from a previous Cool Teacher episode. The Bring Your Own Doritos uh, approach is a really good one, except you get all that stuff on it your gets fingers. gets kind of greasy. Yeah, it gets on the greasy. Okay, maybe not Doritos devices, right? The BYOD, they use it. Fairfield Middle School, New Fairfield Middle School, um, uses the bring your own device of some sort. Now, here's how they actually do it. They give students access to uh, to the network with their laptops, their Chromebooks, their tablets, their smartphones. <gasps> they yeah, trust students. They trust oh, students. Oh, that'll never they work. They trust okay. students. So any student who doesn't have a device uh, provided by the school, or excuse me, their own device gets one provided by the school. Isn't and, that great? Yeah, and they use Google Apps for Education and Google Classroom. Yeah. So the principal, uh, Christine uh, Baldelli, says it's actually transformed the school. Students are working harder than their teachers. What? Think about that for a second. What? What? Students are working harder than their teachers. Oh, nobody works harder than a teacher. Well, evidently, <laughs> that's not the, the case. The students do. Well, that sounds what great. What else? Well, they use bean bags, those wonderful little scrunchy things with beans in them, I guess. Right. Anyhow, they okay. call their library Cyberspace. Okay. And I'm not familiar with this brand of bean bag, but it's called a Yogi Bow. Yeah, you're looking at it right now. Bean bag. They're massive. They're, They're so huge. cool. Huge. You yeah. can have three students can sit on one. That's really cool. I know. And they you, they have balance ball chairs. They have rolling foldable tables. They have whiteboard tables. They have kidney shaped tables. So they've created this environment, this atmosphere that's very conducive to learning and, and and creating and sharing and, and chilling and, out and chilling yeah so when i and this is we're just jumping this in when i taught in uh in in high school in reno um we uh procured nine couches uh for our band room and what an amazing transformation it was when you give them comfortable spaces where they're allowed to relax and we say this is a space where it's okay for you to relax really cool things happen right Tacos sometimes get left in the cushions, but oh well. that's an acceptable cost. That okay, one of the other ones that uh, that they uh, employ, one of the other strategies, is personalized learning networks, PLCs, right? Or communities, communities. personalized learning communities. Um, but what they are in this uh, context is 75 minutes set aside for students to work on class projects and other school activities with one another. So they have their group where they're going to work on stuff, but it's not regulated and like a regular class. And they have 75 minutes, so that yeah. gives them a lot more time than, yeah. oh, you have five minutes to work on this or something. So they can really yeah. explore and it's take a, their time yeah. and see it's what a, they really like. It's a really freeing in, in you know environment, which yeah. is super, super cool. That is so nice. Yeah. How about they have this thing called a Core 21 class. Okay. okay. This is a class where students can pursue their passion. The things they're interested in. Yes, right. and they study this Habits of Mind in Angela Mayer's Habitudes book, and I okay. have not read that. I have okay. got to read this book. You it's read everything. How have you really not read this? Habits of Mind. We're going to so get they, her on here. I know. We're going to get her on yeah. here. Maybe she's going to ISTE. Oh. And they choose from a database of project ideas, and so that kind of gets them started on what they can do in terms of a project. So there's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of student ownership of their own learning. There's a lot of freedom in the way that they've designed their classrooms. Mm -hmm. it's so, and plus, they, they embrace BYOD, 
Sounds like a really cool school. I can see why Matt Miller would love to work there. Maybe he already is. Maybe they've hired him. Who knows? Maybe they have. Yeah. Very, very cool. Okay, so these are just a couple of the ideas. Stick around uh, after school, and we'll tell you about uh, four, four more. more. Um, but as Barbara just alluded, we're going to ISTE. Right. So we're not just going to ISTE to, to hang out a little bit. We are going to shoot as many episodes of The Cool Teacher Show as we possibly can from uh, the vendor floor. So we hope that you will come and, and hang out with us right. because it's going to be, dang it, a good time. We're out of time, in All fact. All right, that was the bell. Thanks for joining us. Stick around after school. We'll talk about uh, other ways, uh, four more ways to innovate uh, your middle school or the way they're innovating uh, New Fairfield, uh, Connecticut, and how they ditched the textbook. It's a really cool idea. But don't forget to read Matt Miller's blog at ditchthattextbook.com. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.